you've learned how to calculate the expectation for a discrete random variable, and in this video, you're going to learn how to calculate the expectation of a function of a discrete random variable. So as a motivating example, let's think about Snow White's stepmother. She brings over 20 red delicious apples and 80 sweet tango apples. Uh, you already have two sweet tango apples that you bought, and you put those two sweet tango apples in your picnic basket. Now you go to the pile of 100 apples that Snow White's mother, stepmother brings over, and you select five of them at random. And you add those five to the basket. How many sweet tango apples do you expect are in your basket? So logically, because you already put two in your basket, you would expect to have the two that you put in plus the expected number from Snow White's stepmother. And since you're choosing five apples and there are 80% um, sweet tango apples, and you would expect from Snow White's stepmother to have five times 0.8 sweet tango apples. So logic would tell you you would end up with um, six as your expected value for the number of sweet tango apples in your picnic basket. So this is correct, but let's uh, generalize this, and we'll generalize this to a theorem for any discrete random variable. So let x be a discrete random variable with PMF p sub x of k. And then we're going to define g of x to be a function of our random variable x. Then if we want to calculate the expected value of g of x, we can calculate that by taking each value of k, each value that x can take on, plug that value into both our function and into our PMF, take the product of them, and add them over all the values of k. So we're taking the expected value of our function of x. And this will be true as long as this sum here is finite. OK, so that's our theorem. A corollary, or like a special case of this, is where we have a linear function. So we have a x plus b, where a is some real number and b is some real number. Then if we want to calculate the expected value of a x plus b, that's just going to be a times the expected value of x plus b. So this is pretty easy to prove. And also, by the way, this is called the linearity of expectation. So if you hear someone say linearity of expectation, that means that they're talking about this corollary right here. OK, so our proof is right here. We're going to start off with the expected value of ax plus b. Now we're going to take this and uh, use our theorem here. So what is this expectation equal to? We sum over all the k's and we put in our function here, a k plus b, and then we have our PMF. Now what we're gonna do is split this piece up so that we'll have this in one sum and then this in another sum. So since we have a sum of a sum, we can split that into two sums, if that's fair game. So that's what we have going on here. Here's the first bit, the sum over all k, a times k times the PMF plus the sum over all k, b times the PMF. Now, since a is just a constant, it's just a real number, and b is just a real number as well, we can scoot a in front, and also we can put b in front. Right, because we can either multiply each term by a and then sum them all up, or we could sum them all up and then multiply by a. It's gonna give us the same thing. So we've scooted out the a and the b, and so now we have a times the sum over all k of k times b of x of k plus b, and then we have a sum over all the values of k, and we have our PMF. Now, if we look at this first sum here, we recognize this as the expected value of x. So that's great. We're done with this first piece, and now when we look at the second piece, we recognize, oh, we're just summing over a PMF for all the values of k. And of course, PMFs, when summed over, have to equal one. So this sum is equal to one. So we have a times the expected value of x plus b times one, or in other words, a times the expected value of x plus b. So we've proven that our corollary is true. So in our Snow White example, the way that we can apply this is we can define our function um, g of x equal to 2 plus x, where x is equal to the number of 
two tango apples that you select from Snow White's stepmother. So then, since we're looking for the expected value of this, we're looking for the expected value of 2 plus x. We can split this into two expected values, so we end up with the expected value of 2, which is just 2, plus the expected value of x. And we know that the expected value of uh, hypergeometric is not too difficult to calculate. It's going to be 0.8 times the number of apples that we're drawing, which is five. So that's why we end up with two plus five times 0.8, which is six. So we expect to see six two tango apples in our picnic basket.